Hey guys, welcome back. I am Selena from Digital Design. In this video, we'll be seeing the different taxation options and I'll be helping you out on how to set up your taxation settings on your e-commerce website. Just click on this tax section now. At present, there are two options. At the top, yes, I will enter prices inclusive of tax and exclusive of tax. Now, what does this mean? Suppose you come to the demo website. Now, here it is $49. So if you want the price of the product as a present to be $49, and if you want to display the price of the product inclusive of tax, suppose tax is around 10%. Then it will show around $55. Okay. So that is what it basically means the product the price which is shown on your website. Will also include the tags but we want to be exclusive of tax. Because we don't want to increase the price of the product on the youth page. We will tell that the tax price will be shown. When the user is trying to check out from the website. So at that time, it will be shown. So make sure it is, no. I will enter prices exclusive of tax. Now the other option is to calculate tax based on. And here you have to select different options like based on which address the shipping address, billing address, or shop base address. So I am selecting shipping address. Shipping tax class you know there are different shipping tax classes on cart items. So don't do anything. For now. Just make sure shipping tax class based on cart items is selected for now. Okay. You can add additional classes or you will see classes now after some time. Don't worry. Now, here it says display prices in the shop excluding tax are including text. So select excluding tax for both the op option. Now it says display tax total itemized or single total select itemized. I'll show later what is the difference between itemized and single total. For now, select itemized and click on save changes after you have done all the changes on this side. Now come here on these standard rates. Now here we have to add the tax rate. Now let me show you how it happens. Just click on the insert row. The first option is for country code. You have to put in your country code. For example, the country code for India is IN. When I put IN, I get this option in India. So it means I am right now. In India, there is a GST tax system. Now all the sales tax VAT everything has been excluded. Okay, if you are in another country, most of the country, I guess, follows GST most of the countries. So it will be beneficial for all of you. Now, here you have to select a state for now. If you know the GST system in India, it is both though. It is actually not the GST system. It is a different kind of system, but they call it the GST system. Here we have both central tax and state tax. So, first now in this option, we'll be setting up central tags. So, leave the state code A, leave the post code, leave city everything. Don't put anything or you just come to the tax rate and put 12% or 15%, 18%, 28%, whatever the GST rate applies on your product put in that rate. If you don't know, Go on Google search or ask your CA to ask some expert they will let you know what is the tax rate for your product. Now you have to enter this tax name so I will put in CGST. This is basically the central general sales tax. If you research you'll know that. And priority make sure it is one that means this is the most file detects. Okay. This tax will be calculated on a while shipping. So make sure shipping is ticked mark. Now again in such another row. And in the country code again I will put in India. Now. Here I will put in MH for Maharashtra. 
because now i will also show you how to put you no gst for state transactions so put in maharashtra that was the central tax and this is the state tax now every state has a different gst for itself now we are setting up maharashtra leave the postal and zip code if we leave this yet it means that it applies to the whole of maharashtra and you also have to leave this city which means all the cities which are which comes under the maharashtra side is applied to all of them now in the rate put in 12 or whatever the rate applies to your product and in this tax name you have to put as gst if you are from india then you this is what you have to put and in the priority put two okay there are two arrows top and bottom when you click on the top arrow it increases so put two priorities okay now click on save changes fine so we have successfully created two tax systems because we haven't created any product in our website i will show you in the demo website how this tax system works so let us come back to the demo website let's go to our shopping cart as you can see we have this men's blue short sleeved t-shirt per piece is 49 dollars and the quantity is 2 right here you can see the total price is 98 dollars okay now here everything will be totaled it says subtotal is 98 dollars the shipping rate is four dollars we will be doing this shipping system in the next video in this video we are seeing this taxation system now here you have to see cgst that is central tax you have as gst that is state tax now you can see the tax rate is automatically calculated and you are getting a total amount in the next video we will see how to set up shipping settings in WooCommerce. That's it guys. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Digital Design. Finally, thank you for watching.